This is a tutorial in Game Build Garage on how you can make one single person node on do all four actions by different presses of the different buttons. This would be useful, for example, in a fighting game where you need to use different actions to win against an opponent. So to have those different actions, you will definitely need all four of the different animations that you can do with a person node on. But then again, that is only one use. If you want different things that the player can do in your game, then you may want to use these animations for those functions. So this is really a Swiss army knife of a tutorial. The four actions that a person can do are celebrate, punch, kick, and spin. So if any of those seem useful or you just want to add some more variety, then stick around for this tutorial. So this is our person nodon, and you can see that the action up here in the corner is set to celebrate. So the first one is really, really easy. So pick the button that you want for the action that is already set up in the player nodon. And again, this one is really, really easy. So follow my steps. For the first action, simply connect the button press nodon to the player nodon port uh, well, the action port and the player node on. So now go to the input. This is where things are going to get a bit more complex. So select a different button. So, so the first one for me was A, now the next one is B. So if we go in here, you're going to read advanced technique. You can use the inputs 2, 3, 4, and 5 to activate the individual actions without changing the settings. So that is what we are going to use to make all the different actions possible with different button presses. So let's just go ahead and so what the first thing you may think that you need to do, this is not correct, so do not follow me on this, but where what most people are going to mess up is that they're gonna think that they have to attach this to a cal to an adding calculator thing. Uh, and add a constant node on, but this is incorrect. So let's go up. This is what most people would do. They would hit two. So uh, the button press plus two would make three since button inputs make an output of one and three is the other action that we want. But instead this happens where the, where the player node on is celebrating the entire time. And that is not quite what we want. So we need to go in and change that. So instead of that, this is what you really need to do. The problem that you are having if you do that is that the constant node on is constantly giving that output. And that is not what they want. So instead, you need to give uh, an output of three exactly when the button is pressed. And an easy way to do that is to just hook up three of the same button types. So for example, the same, in this case is B, so three button nodons to the same one. And that will give an output of three into the action port and that will make the player punch. So now we are going to repeat that with this time the X button, but we're gonna have to make it so that the output number is four. So the easy way to do that is again, to have four button nodons that go into the same action port. And remember, all of these all have to be X. So we're going to connect all of them to the same port. At the end of all of this, it is going to look like a staircase with a ton of lines going into that one port. So now you can see that X makes us kick and we still have all of the other actions at our fingertips. So the last one you can probably guess, we are going to make five X button nodons and they are all going to connect into that one same port and that will make them that will make the player spin so we can see that we are forming that staircase shape once again and now we just have to hook them all up so that's one this is going to be two this is three this is 
four, and this is the last one, it's five. So this is a very, very simple way to make all of the different actions available with all four of the different buttons. So I hope that this was helpful because we can still do all of the different actions as you can see right now. So that's kick and that's spin. So yeah, this is useful for a lot of different things and I hope this tutorial was helpful.